All right, guys. Hello, 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 and welcome to PyCon 2019. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Um, I know a lot of you guys come from all over South Africa, so thank you so much for making a mission. Um, not everyone's from Johannesburg, so please make friends, be nice, keep a little gap in the circle when you're making friends and so that some people um, can join in. And uh, yeah, we're kicking off today and um, I'm here to introduce Adam Piskorski, who is the chairman of uh, PyCon ZA 2019, but he was also the chairman of PyCon ZA 2018. He's one of the most organized people I have ever come across. It is unbelievable. Um, and he's a Pythonista, freelancer, and uh, yeah, he's here today to show us the ropes, open the ceremony, and get us started with PyCon 2019. All right, let's give him a round of applause. All righty, so uh, first of all, uh, uh, give a round of applause if you like our new logo. Yes. All right, we, we, we paid good money for it, so hopefully we got our money's worth. All right, so uh, welcome again, and thanks for, for coming, everyone. So I, I just, I'd like to start. First, a raise of hands for anyone who is from outside of Johannesburg. Yes, this is how it is like every year. A lot of people fly in to, to, to uh, go for, in for this conference. Lots of people from Cape Town, I imagine. And how many people are from outside of South Africa? Oh, OK, a number. A uh, few. So I'm guessing basically this is half Cape Town. All righty. <laughs> okay, so first of all, I'd like to talk about our sponsors, and the sponsors uh, make this happen. So we try to keep our ticket sales as low as possible, especially with our student and pensioner uh, tickets, in order to make this as affordable as possible. So the, the sponsors are the reason why it's as affordable as it is, and the sponsors make this happen. So I'd like to thank our sponsors. So first, our diamond sponsor, which is Obsidian. And Obsidian has, is, has, is incredibly enthusiastic. So they're our, our diamond sponsor. They sponsored the entire open source week, so LinuxConf and PostgresConf, and now. And they, uh, after first being offered a diamond package, they were, only took like five hours and they were in. And they, they paid the, 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 the whole, I mean, they, they agreed to, to the whole package so quickly. They're super eager. They run their own open source meetups. The, they have contributed so much to the Johannesburg open source uh, community and, and uh, probably uh, for South Africa as well. Uh, the, they're an outstanding company. They've also decided to open up a coffee bar here as well. So they have taken up the logistical challenge of supplying coffee to Pythonistas, which Microsoft did last year for us. And, and uh, of course, we consume a surprising amount. If you guys were here last year, you'd know. So they uh, have taken up the challenge. All right. So everyone, please give Obsidian a round of applause. Next up, our platinum sponsor, Microsoft. So uh, Microsoft helped make uh, last year's PyCon uh, ZA 2018 as great as it was. They had a whole coffee bath in the middle, uh, and they were incredibly supportive. They've had such a surprising uh, culture change to, to support open source and really embraced it. And uh, uh, they've been a, a great supporter of, of not only the Python community, but open source in general. So please give them a round of applause. So next up, our gold sponsors, uh, actually gold sponsor, it's Google Developers. So everyone is familiar with, uh, with Google. They have uh, helped with many, op sponsored many open source communities, and they've also sponsored us a number of times over the years as well. So they've been a long time supporter of, of PyCon ZA. Uh, so everyone, please give me a round of applause. Okay, next up, our silver sponsors, and there are many silver sponsors. So these sponsors have contributed a significant amount of money as well to help make these things happen, and they form the backbone of our sponsorship packages and, 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 uh, and really help us uh, provide the extra stuff that we need on top of the, our diamond and, and golds and platinum sponsors. So first is Python Software Society of South Africa, long-time sponsor. Please give him a round of applause. giving a few seconds. Okay, uh, and Take A Lot, also a long-time supporter. Please give me a round of applause. <laughs> a 
Okay, OfferZen, uh, actually surprisingly also a long-term sponsor, and they'll also be handing out shirts tomorrow after lunch. So they'll be uh, fun as well. Please give them a round of applause. Okay, Aruba as well. Please give them a round of applause. Like I said, there's lots of, there's lots of silver sponsors. Uh, FIS, uh, please give them a round of applause as well. Sikik <laughs> uh, Prepaid. And finally, our patron sponsors. <laughs> Everyone is just about to say. <laughs> All right, so we have two of them. So it is Thinkist and it is Afrolabs. So I don't, I don't, I don't go too fast because of patrons. They, they, uh, they do help. Okay, and and then finally, our a new thing we have media sponsor, which is my broadband. Okay, there'll be enough clapping, clap, uh, clapping for the moment. Don't worry, you, you guys will be able to rest. So, uh, so this week was open source week. Uh, this is the second year we've had it, and we've uh, and it's been quite helpful to us, uh, especially logistically, because we actually work together as a group to find great venues, uh, uh, have a, a, a diamond sponsor, which is a new package that only exists because of Open Source Week, and uh, they, uh, we help each other a lot with video and other things. So um, uh, we had LinuxConf on Monday, and then we've had PostgresConf on Tuesday, and uh, we look forward to being able to work with them next year. Uh, we, don't want, 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 we haven't confirmed if, if there'll be an open source next week next year, but we do look, we do enjoy working with them. Okay, now onto the venue. Uh, actually, what, one uh, so one round of one more round of applause for the Wondrous Club, which has made this conference possible in this nice place, beautiful place. <laughs> so, um, also, actually, before hold on, let me just see. Yes, okay, so uh, one thing is slides in the wrong place. So what, another thing to mention, tutorials was yesterday on Wednesday, so in the case you guys are wondering what happened to those. And also, just to be clear, in, in future, those are separate tickets, not combined with the conference tickets, so there was some confusion with a few people there. Okay, so back to the venue. So as you walk in, you, this should look familiar to you. So you, as you walk in, you'll see this, minus the annotations. We don't have augmented reality for you yet. So. Uh, so to the left of the registration desk are the toilets. You go down, they'll be on your left. Uh, stairs to the first floor will be on your right just as you go in. Uh, lunch is going to be at a place called the Centenary, which is just opposite this room, just over there. And then the ballroom is where you are now. So that's the ground floor. Then as soon as you go up the stairs, uh, then you will see something like this if you look right. Open space will be actually be directly in front of you as you go upstairs. The stairs are to the right. And... Uh, so they'll be in a, like a patio area. If it's not raining, then you guys can go out to the patio. Otherwise, they'll be in the corner over there with a flip chart, open spaces. Toilets will be uh, on the left, uh, directly above the ones that are on the ground floor. So it's a mirror image. Uh, and then the two uh, breakaway rooms are Marathon and Boundary. Marathon is the first one on the left, and Boundary is the second one on the left. It's actually the third door on the left. So each, each room has two doors. Uh, we like to go on in, uh, through the first door only, because this other door is, is closed up for administrative reasons. And then finally, there's the speaker's room, which is also known as strikers, which is the last room on the right. Okay, so Wi-Fi. So this is for delegates, uh, your, your SSID and password. So we have our own Wi-Fi. This is conference Wi-Fi, of course, so please do not abuse it. Um, it is um, a finite resource, of course. So um, it, is, it has some restrictions. So SSID is OSW delegates, and a password is open source rocks, one word, lowercase. Okay, uh, this is a schedule. So uh, we have, a, uh, I don't know if you can do two QR codes at once, but we have an iCal, we have a Jiggity, and uh, you can also go to the PyCon website. Uh, there's a link over there for schedule, or you can just go to slash schedule. Um, so j just in general, we're gonna have morning, uh, we're gonna have a morning tea and coffee break around 10.30, um, and then uh, lunchtime at, uh, I believe, 12.30, and then um, uh, tea break again at three each day. So that's generally how it's gonna look. And uh, at the beginning of each day, we're going to have, actually, at the beginning of today is going to be a lightning talk. And then tomorrow is going to be, sorry, uh, is going to be an, uh, a keynote, sorry. And the end of each day is going to be a keynote and lightning talks as well. Okay, so uh, organizers, so you can identify them by uh, these little yellow badges, which is the same one on the screen. And uh, so if you need any questions, uh, if you have any questions, rather, uh, and you need answers, then you can ask one of these guys, or, 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 or ladies, or anyone. Okay, uh, next is the code of conduct people. So there's a, f a fewer of them. Actually, just um, if you can uh, please stand up. 
So these are code of conduct people, and if you have any uh, code of conduct issues or questions, then they'll be able to assist you. They have these badges. Well, actually, um, should organizers also stand up as well? Yeah. Yeah, organizers, please stand up. The, the, tr trust me, there are more of them. They're just they're still on their way here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, round of applause. Thank you. I should ask for that. Okay, so open spaces. Uh, generally, open spaces are uh, more of an ad hoc uh, style talks with a, a small number of people. There's no projector screens, it's just a flip chart, and it's in the place I described, just upstairs in the patio area. Um, also known, probably no, better known as a landing, maybe. And uh, if you want to have, any, have any, uh, anything you want to talk about or uh, any kind of talks you want to give there, then you can uh, uh, request that at talks at zeta.pycon.org. Org, not OTG, sorry about that. And ORH also made a mistake over there. So, uh, lightning talks, uh, like I said, end of each day. If you have any submissions, please send them to that with the ORG. All righty. Uh, session chairs, so everyone who has volunteered to be session chairs, I actually haven't given a round of applause, so, uh, so thank you. <laughs> session chairs, actually stand up if you can. Session chairs, can you stand up if you can? Uh, okay, I think there's like uh, a few. There's more, there's more, don't worry, there's more coming. We have, we have plenty more. Uh, so, uh, session shows, please go to Strikers at 10.30, 10 which is the first coffee break, uh, where you're going to be briefed on exactly how to do things and, and how we're going to go about things. Okay, video volunteers, uh, uh, please stand up if you have any. Uh, okay, there is, there's more, like I said, uh, there's one back, back then right now, for example. Uh, please go to Boundary Room at 10.30 for a briefing over there as well. Okay, and uh, I'd like to say thank you to everyone, and uh, please have a great time. <laughs>